God bless every one of you that are under the sound of my voice. Yes, again, this is Apostle Jean Morris coming to you with a sure word from the Word of God. For Jesus has promised that if we pray, God answers prayer. Man ought always to pray and not to faint. That is the Word of God. Today, being Wednesday, there are times that we deal with issues. But today, I'm going to just speak to you a word from the Word of God as well as from my heart. My last birthday, I was 81 years old. And at the age that God has blessed me to come to, of course, there are changes that must be made. And so I am soliciting the prayers of the people of God. And there is one uh, factor is that I am not pastoring. I oversee a ministry. We have our school, which we are continually pressing to see to it that those that are a part of our circle will receive the knowledge as the Bible has instructed us, get knowledge. Amen. With all that getting, get an understanding. And so this is a part of this ministry is to get knowledge to the people of God as much as possible. Right now, we're primarily using the YouTube channel. And uh, so, therefore, I am soliciting the prayers of the people of God, that the Spirit of God will give direction and that all of our needs will be supplied. In the near future, I expect to travel to uh, some of the places where we have worked in evangelism and uh, also we have established communication and relationship with some of the people of God. So definitely I'm soliciting your prayers. And then also we have revival coming up in Chicago at Christ Universal Church where uh, the pastor Josie Knoll is the leader there. And uh, our... 2024 Ministers Conference will be in October. And so definitely I need your prayers. This ministry is under attack. and But I give God the glory that I am encouraged. And we can expect that. All ministries that are of Jesus Christ come under some type of attack. Because... There are weapons that are formed against us. But the Word of God has let us know no weapon formed will prosper. But now that is not automatic. There's something that we have to do. Number one, again, man ought always to pray and not to faint. And then there are times when we have to get before the Lord with denial, denying ourselves of food and water, whatever, and fasting so that our spirit and our soul can stay strong in the Lord. At my age, you can expect some different things to happen, and God is blessing me, though, to be able to maintain posture in the Lord. But I definitely solicit your prayers. Satan wants me out of his way. Of course he would, because God has had this ministry on the front line, standing against abortion, standing against the present prison system, standing against those things that are contrary to the word of God. And as the scripture says, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. I have a mandate to preach holiness. And holiness now is a controversial subject for some. 
for those who have determined that holiness will be their posture and their standard, it's not controversial. We just follow what the scripture says, get an understanding, amen, and drive and go forward. So I felt in my spirit to share this with you, and definitely I am soliciting your prayers and that God will bless our school to go forward. We have others that have signed on as instructors in business, and you will receive uh, the announcement concerning that in those classes. We have other uh, subjects that are going to be added for Certified Bible Teachers 3. We're going to have excerpts from the book of Daniel and the book of Revelations. We're going to deal with spiritual warfare, the five-fold ministry, and other gifts that are connected to ministry per se. So, yes, I need your prayers. I need your prayers. And I'm praying for you, the body of Christ, everywhere. And those that are close definitely want you to know that I love you. Amen. And uh, I feel like going on in the Lord. I, I haven't released myself yet to go to be with the Lord. I'm not sick. Amen. And so I believe in my heart that God wants me to go on in ministry until he says that's enough. Well, stay encouraged, people of God. This is not going to be an easy time because we're living closer to the coming of the Lord for the church. And so Satan is turning it up day by day. In the United States, there are people that are grossly against the church of Jesus Christ, the word of God, the Bible as we know it. And there are people that stand against righteousness as we have understood it to be. So therefore, amen, this is a time that we're going to have to definitely press our way. But there are different ways that we press. Amen. Number one, we read the word. We study the word of God. Then we praise God. We worship him. Amen. So that we can be in his presence and keep, amen, the demeanor of love and joy and peace in our hearts. So, amen. We we want to be very positive now and let the joy of the Lord be our strength, which it is. So, again, I solicit your prayers. Stay encouraged, whatever comes your way. Amen. And let me say this. We are a body. We are a family. So when things start happening in the negative, you find you some saints and pray with them and they pray with you. And when you can, get into the house of God. Go to church. Amen. And fellowship with the people of God. That is a part of our strength. Well, God bless you. Come back on tomorrow. There will be a word from the Lord. Bless you now.